welcome to the video and welcome to the next portion of our series which is the training process of our AI okay so as you know I'm making a series in which I'm teaching you guys how to detect and um, track enemies in game okay so this is now part number three okay so this is episode three okay um, in this episode we're gonna be doing the training process okay now the training process is um, one of the easiest process, but it requires you to pay attention, but it's very easy, okay? So let's get it through. So as you know, I have this folder over here, okay, from the past episodes called AI Tutorial. Inside of this folder, I have another four folders over here, one of them named PUBG, which is a game, another one called Resource, another one called Tracking and Training, okay? The Tracking and Training folders, you don't have to worry about yet, okay? They are gonna, um, we're gonna be using that later on. For now, you're just going to be using the resources and the PUBG, okay? Today, we're going to take a look at the resources folder. So, you're going to open that folder and you should have something called custom data, okay? And help, okay? TXT, okay? So, you should have just two different files right here, okay? Um, and inside of your PUBG folder, as you know, you should have your images and your labels. And then inside of each one of these folders, you should have a train inval. So, for example, if I go inside of images right now, I should have train inval, which I do. If I go inside of labels right now, I should have train and val, which I also do. Perfect. So then I'm going to go inside of images one more time. I'm going to go inside of train. I'm going to make sure I have at least 100 images. I have at least 100 images, so very, very good. 10% of that. So I'm going to make sure I have 10% of whatever I have in train in val, at least that. So I have 10 images. So that's 10%. In labels, same thing. I'm going to go inside of labels. I'm going to go to inside of train. And I have 100 labels, which you know, matches the amount of images I have. I'm going to go inside of val now and I have 10 val labels. Very good. So you should match. Again, so just make sure you understand this. You should match the amounts. So now let's go ahead and do the training process. Now for this, you're going to have to open your browser. Now what you're going to do is you're going to type Google Colab on Google. Okay, so you're going to go on Google and type Google Colab just like this. And you're going to click on this first link right here. So you're going to click on it. And you're going to come to this page. Now, you may have to sign up or sign in. Whatever you do, just make sure you do that. And you're going to come to a page similar to this. Now, uh, in your case, you go, you're most likely going to have to sign in. So it's okay if you don't see this page. That makes sense. You're not supposed to see it yet. I'm going to explain to you how to get to this page in just a second. So it's okay. Now, make sure you sign in to Google, okay? After you have signed in, you're going to go to the description of this video. Okay, description of this video. Okay, there's a link that's saying Google Colab. Okay, so click on that Google Colab link and you're gonna come to this page right here. Okay, which basically what this page is, is actually the repo um, pro um, YOLO v5. Okay, that, that's basically what it is. And we're gonna be using this to do different things. You're gonna be able to, um, you can do different things. You're gonna set up everything here, right? You're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do the training here. Okay, you can do many different things here. But all we need to worry about is the setup portion and the training portion. So let's get it started. So over here on Google Colab, okay, what you're going to see is you're going to see this folder right here. Okay, you're going to see this left side over here. It says files and everything. You may you may see this table of contents. We go, all you're going to click on is this folder right here. Perfect. Now, over here on the middle, as you can see, you're going to be able to execute different things. Now, if you have used, um, I think it's Jupyter Notebook, this is going to be easy for you. This is literally like a, uh, think of this like a computer and you're going to execute this command, this line of code right here. Okay, these lines of code. So you're going to execute this, so you're going to click on this play button. Run anyways. And it's going to basically get everything uh, that you need to get and put it right here. It's going to git clone. So if you know what GitHub is, it's going to git clone that repo into your computer, in this case, into the Google computer, right? This is in the cloud, so it's gonna, get, it's gonna do it here. It's gonna do a few imports and do whatever, okay? It's gonna install the requirements, and that's it. Okay, very good, it says setup complete. I'm gonna click on this refresh button right here, and now I see YOLO v, YOLO v5. You, sh you should see that right here too, okay? If you don't see it, we have a problem. Now, before we continue, what you're going to do now is you're going to click on the YOLO v5 folder. You should see data, models, and utils, okay? You're going to click on data, and then inside of here, you're going to go inside your AI tutorial folder. Inside of AI tutorial folder, you should go inside of resources. Go inside of resources, and then over here, you should see custom data, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to drag that over. So you're going to drag it over to data. Make sure it's inside of data, as you can see. You drag it over. There you go. And you're gonna wait for it to download over here on the bottom. You upload it, and now it's right here. Okay. Now you're gonna open that. 
Now, in my case, it already says PUBG, but in your case, you're gonna change it to something else. Now, for now, leave it how it is. So what you're gonna do now is very easy. Now, go back to inside of your folder, your 8i tutorial folder, go back to it, okay? Very good. Now, what you're gonna do now is inside of a PUBG folder, okay? Make sure you have images and labels, okay? And make sure inside of images you have train inval. Make sure that inside of labels you also have train inval. Make sure that's correct. If it is correct, then all you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you're gonna change this folder to be a zip file, zip file, okay? So we're gonna right click on it. I'm gonna do WinRAR, add to archive, zip, okay, and click OK. Okay, now that's done. Okay, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna simply drag this zip file, okay, over to my browser, just like that, outside of any folder. You're gonna drag it right here, okay? There you go. It's gonna upload it, and that's gonna take a little bit of time, okay? It shouldn't take too long, but it is gonna take a little bit of time, so you're gonna wait, okay? The more images you have, okay, the bigger your file is, which means the longer it's gonna take, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. Let's just wait until that's done, and then you're gonna have to do something else. So over here, okay, we're gonna create a new line of code, okay? You can do it right here, it doesn't matter where you do it. Uh, you can click on this plus button right here, plus code right here, okay? Or you can just click on this little line right here, okay? I'm gonna do it right here. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go back to your resources, okay? Inside of your folder, resources, and you're gonna go inside of help. Inside of help, okay, you're gonna go to line nine. We are now in line nine over here, okay? Number nine, okay? And you're gonna extract the zip file inside of Google Colab. To do this, you're gonna copy this code, okay, right here, Control C. Control V, and you're gonna change the AI PUBG to whatever the name of the folder is. In my case, it's just PUBG. PUBG.zip, okay? Make sure it's the same thing. And then you're gonna click on this um, run cell. Now, you may have a problem here. Um, you may say that you have an error. Make sure that the name goes in together. Now, if it does say you have an error and the name is correct, like PUBG.zip is the same thing here, you are gonna have to change the name of your file folder right here by right clicking and rename and then trying to unzip again. Okay, if you do get an error. I didn't get any error, it says it, there's a check right there, so it's all good, perfect. Now, as you can see right here, uh, I have the PUBG folder, okay? And um, that's perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh, just make sure everything is perfect, good. Now you're gonna delete the zip file. Okay, delete the zip file right here. Okay, I'm gonna delete it. Okay, now what you're gonna do is, um, Again, as you can see over here, this folder, PUBG, okay, is the same folder that's inside of the custom data thing that I told you earlier, okay? So to get your custom data, just one more time, let me just show you, okay? You need to get your custom data right now, so go inside of custom data, so you need to go to YOLO v5, data, then you need to click on custom data, you click twice, okay? Over here you have PUBG, and over here in value you also have PUBG, okay? That's how um, YOLO is gonna get your your um, information, okay, basically, okay? So you need to make sure you give it the right directory. So in my case, it is PUBG, then images, then val, okay? It is PUBG, images, and train, that's correct. If your folder is a different name, let's say you're doing another game, such as, I don't know, Rust or whatever, right? You change it to that. Make sure it's the name is the same. Make sure you match the name. So if it's all capital, make sure you have all capital. Anyways, uh, everything else, you don't have to do anything. Don't do anything else here, okay? You're gonna go down all the way to train, okay? So that we're in setup right now, so you're gonna go to train. Now, another faster way to get to that point is to click on the table of contents right here and clicking on train. There you go, we're here now, okay? Go back to the folder, okay, there you go. And then over here, okay, you're gonna get to this line right here where it says train YOLO V5 on Coco 128 for three epochs. Now, uh, we're not gonna do exactly, um, we're not gonna train on Coco 128, okay? We're gonna train on custom data, custom data, okay? Which is what we gave in. Okay, so you're gonna change the Coco128 that was right here to custom data, just like that, okay? Make sure you're following it wrong. Make sure you don't make any mistakes here. Pay attention, okay? And then um, epochs. Epochs is basically how many iterations is the um, computer gonna go through to train these, okay? In, in this case, um, the AI, okay? So just make sure that you understand what epochs is. In our case, we're gonna, we are like to do 111, okay? Um, that's usually what I like to do, just for the first setup, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna put here 111, okay? Uh, make sure everything is right, so it says Python train, everything is good, okay? Make sure you're following along, along. This over here, you can leave it how it is, there's no problem with that, okay? And everything is good. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on run cell. 
Okay. Let's see if there's any problem. You shouldn't have any problem right here. Everything should be good. Very good. And then you can scroll down a little bit. Nice. And then here the training is gonna begin. Okay. Now, um, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. And of course, this video is already kind of long for the series, but just keep in mind that um, we're gonna go over um, this is already the chain. And right now we are training already. Just to let you know, like as soon as we begin here, there you go. Now we're training. Okay. Okay. Just to clarify MAP. Okay. is simply the mean average precision. Okay. Now there's a lot into it. Okay. This is AI again. So it's a lot, it's very, very in depth. So if you do want to go into it, uh, you need to understand exactly what each one of these things do. I don't understand what each one of those things do. I do have a basic understanding of, um, AI, but nothing beyond basic. So I do recommend that if you want to understand what's going on uh, with each one of these values over here, that you study the, these values, okay? Uh, but basically, just to clarify, P means precision, R means recall, okay? And then over here we have MAP, okay? That's what you basically need to worry about, which is the mean average precision. You want this value over here, the 0.5, okay, to be at, uh, around um, 0 0.6 and above. That's what you want it to be, 0 0.6 and above. Now, as you can see over here on the right, we have another MAP. This one over here, okay, you want it to be at around 0 0.4 and above. So again, the left one, the 0.5 only should be at around 0 0.6 and above. The, the more, the better, okay? So one is the maximum. Even though I never got you one, usually I stay at one 0 0.9. 0 0.9 A is, I don't think you ever, I don't think you can get you one, to be honest. But maybe you can. Um, and then over here, Okay, uh, the second one over here, you can you want it to be above 0 0.4 or 0 0.5, okay? That's very good. If you get it above 0 0.4, that, that's very good. Okay, and this is based on the images that you got. Okay, this is based on validation that you got, the validators that you got. This is based on a lot of things. So you do you, you did have to pay a lot of attention uh, in the first video, in the second video. If you do everything correct, let me just go down here to see where I am right now. You should have a pretty good... Um, AI, okay? Now, of course, like, as you can see, I'm not even getting to that stage yet, okay? I'm not getting to above 0 0.6 yet, but if it's going to eventually get there. Don't worry about it. You don't have to worry too much about it. It will eventually get there, okay, to that stage. So you just got to wait. You just got to be a little patient. Uh, all right, so we are almost done right now. Um, when you are done, okay, it's going to give you some information, and you need to pay attention to this. Let me just see here the information. There you go. So give me one second, and there you go. So we did not um, reach our objective, and that's okay. There's no problem with this. Okay, nothing's wrong. Okay, I'm just, this, this just means that we did not reach our second objective. We reached our first objective, which was being above 0 0.6, but our um, second objective, we were not above 0 0.4, okay? And you're going to actually know what this means when we actually um, begin um, detecting in-game. That just means that there is going to be more failures. It's not going to be able to detect as well. Again, we are doing 100 images. Most AI, you know, object detection usually takes much more than 100 images. You can search it up on Google how many images you usually need. You need a lot more than 100 images. But with 100 images, this will be able to get, okay? And that's okay, okay? Um, for my own personal AI, I have nearly 3,000 images. Um, not not, in for, not for PUBG, I have for a different game. But I have 3,000 images, and I can reach around 0 0.98, 0 0.97 over here, and around 0. I think six or zero point seven over here for the second one. Okay, so that's those are very very good values. Okay, but that's after three thousand images. And again, it's mostly about the quality of your images, um, making sure you have different rotation, different lighting. Like I told you guys several times, right? And again, you can always search more in Google uh, for more tips and stuff like this. As I have said, I'm not a professional in that area whatsoever. Anyways, so what's important to to keep in mind here is. Um, we're actually going to continue for the next video, but just keep in mind that you do need to download two things before we finish this video. You do need to do this. Don't quit. Don't let, don't leave this video without doing this or else you're going to have done this for nothing. You need to download this, um, this model right here. Okay. So to do this, very simple. So you're going to go to this location. You're going to go to run string exp weight best. Okay. So over here inside of YOLO, everything inside of YOLO here. So you're going to go to runs like it says over there, train. Okay, weights and then best. Okay, and you're gonna right click on it, and you're gonna click download. There you go, and then it's gonna start downloading into your computer. And this is what you need so you need to download this before we continue. You want to download the best, not the last. Okay, that's always the case. So you always want to download the best um, possible train that happened, the best iteration. Okay, 
Now, for you to see the results before we actually quit this video, uh, as you can see, I downloaded already. Now, for you to see the results, you can come over here to Val Batch Prediction over here at the bottom. It's a, it's a JPEG file. You're going to double click on it. And here you can see the results of my uh, training. As you can see, um, the AI, this is the AI, this is not me. The AI was able to detect the enemy in most of these scenarios. Like, for example, in this image over here, I can't zoom in. In this image over here, it was able to detect the enemy, okay? But you also detected something in the map. That's definitely a false. That's definitely not an enemy right there. This is an enemy over here. It's very hard to see, but you was able to detect this very far away enemy. It was able to detect this enemy over here, this enemy over here, this enemy over here. But it thinks this tree is an enemy. So, again, over time, it only improves, okay? So, don't worry about this. It's only going to improve over time, okay? And um, for the next video, I am not going to use these, um, these, the AI that I'm teaching you guys, this AI over here. I'm going to use my own custom AI that's much better than this one over here. Um, and you guys are going to see what it's supposed to look like, okay? But that's okay, you know? By the way, these numbers, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, this is the actual confidence. This is how confident it is that that's an enemy. So right here, it has a 50% uh, confidence or 0.5% uh, 0.5 confidence that this is an enemy. Okay, one is a max, which means 100. Um, this was a 40% confidence this is an enemy. Okay, 70% confidence that this is an enemy right here. Okay, so that's how it works. All right. Um, anyway, so that's where we're gonna leave off. Uh, next video, we're actually gonna be using the model. Okay, to actually detect and track the enemies inside of games, and that's the part that I believe most of you guys are excited for. So that will be the next video.